Okay, so we are down here in the studio right now getting set up for our second session uh, with Good Trouble. So this session is going to be a little bit different. Um, we are going to track one of the new original songs called Survivors that we've been playing live for the last probably seven or eight months. Um, that song's basically ready to go in terms of the arrangement and the writing and everything, so we're just going to go ahead and knock that out. And then we're going to try and get a couple of covers done as well. Something that I'm thinking about doing more here on this channel is posting some full band performance videos and covers and stuff from down here in the studio. So uh, we're getting everything set up, patched in right now. Got the new drum kit, finally. Have my own big boy drum kit. Um, he's a real boy. He's a real boy. So Ian just got all that stuff set up, tuned, new heads. We got a porthole cut and the bass drum. And we're about to start placing mics. So it'll be really exciting because I'm ready to hear this drum kit under some microphones. Um, and this is the rig that I'm gonna be using. For both the original song, Survivors, and the cover ideas that we're kicking around, we're gonna need uh, some heavier guitar tones than we did in the last session. So I've got my trusty Orange 8030 single channel, and then the Plexi, and uh, both of those are gonna be going through the Marshall 412. What'd you say? Got to make it heavy. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, it's hard to tell if it, something needs to change from like the live arrangement for this. That's felt good when we've played it live, but is that what we want to commit to for the record? On the, We'll do it one more time. I'll just drop out on that vamp so there'll be no like, because I'm concerned that that makes it a little butt rock kind of feeling yeah, and we can overdub be, something there. Just be bass and drums there. I, I think it's, I think we treat this like a live performance and it might be cool to have that drop out like you said and i think we overdub some some mystery element i know noah mentioned maybe some kind of like recording or something with the synth with like white noise with a filter some kind of sweeping swirly thing maybe it's something with the mood or maybe it's some some kind of texture that we're just kind of swelling in yeah because it feels empty yeah. there it feels awkward and i think it's just because there's a layer that doesn't that we're not creating right now that we need to overdub. And I think that minimal overdubs, I think it's maybe just one thing there and it's maybe one guitar part somewhere. Or maybe, it maybe instead of like a that, it's like a. We could build on top of that. That's cool. That's cooler. It's a little more indie. Less. Something like that. Let's try. I let's like that. That ten. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's try that. That's yeah, so right here.
instead of the long fade, we do. Sorry. We just do exactly what we were just doing, and then you stop, and then you stop, and then you stop. No, I think uh, we no, just no. vamp out. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it I, ends with him. And do you all it's, agree that the drums in at the top of the bridge, yes. whatever we're calling yeah. it, yeah, yeah, yeah. with that, that sick guitar part, that's yeah. the combo? Okay, cool. And then I'll eventually creep back in there. We'll just keep it loose and just right. see yeah. what happens. All right. Yeah, so let's get, so I'm not convinced on the outro, the dropping out one by one. I kind of wonder if we should just vamp it and have everybody fade. Have a fade out. Because when you, when it got to be just you by yourself, if I missed like, I feel like the vibe of the song without any sort of like harmonic thing going on. Like I think it's, maybe we like start to, we don't drop out, but we maybe we just like let a chord ring. I think we just play it and we'll fade it in Pro Tools. We won't fade. Yeah, do a board fit. Just okay, cool. I like. Well, it's either that or we like you and I sustain our notes while the drums keep going. You know what I'm saying? Where we just diamond. That just might like, be cool. I like the idea of the vamp, man. Just let, like let's play for two or three minutes, and then we can just that shit. Good. We could even print the whole. We could print all the stems to the three eight eight to tape. See how that sounds, and then you could actually do a physical board fade on the three eight eight later. Fun. This is fun. Music Dude, is fun. Recording's easy. It is so yeah. easy. It's so easy. <laughs> Everything goes right all the time. Yeah. Yeah. You Technology and twice. computers don't fight you at all. Okay. Let's try one. Look, recording is easy. Ian, yeah, what are your thoughts on this? It's fine.
Okay. I love it. <laughs>